डू यू नो वट आर गुड एंड बैड कंडक्टर्स ऑफ हीट लेट्स लर्न अबाउट इट थ्रू एन एक्टिविटी टेक हॉट वॉटर इन अ ग्लास कलेक्ट सम आर्टिकल्स सच एज स्टील स्पून अ प्लास्टिक स्केल एंड अ पेंसिल डिप वन एंड ऑफ ईच ऑफ दीज आर्टिकल्स इन हॉट वॉटर आफ्टर अ फ्यू मिनट्स टच द अदर एंड ऑफ ईच आर्टिकल यू ऑब्जर्व दैट द स्टील स्पून गेट्स हॉट इट इज मेड अप ऑफ मेटल स्पून अलाउज heat to pass through it so it is a conductor the plastic scale and the pencil do not get hot the scale is made of plastic whereas the pencil is made of wood both plastic and wood do not allow heat to pass through them they are called insulators the materials which allow heat to pass through them quickly are called good conductors of heat all the metals like silver copper aluminum iron stainless steel are good conductors of heat the materials which do not allow heat to pass through them are called bad conductors of heat or insulators paper wood leather clothes mud rubber plastics glass etc are bad conductors of heat or insulators air and distilled water are also bad conductors of heat most liquids and gases are also bad conductors of heat uses of good conductors of heat the materials which are good conductors of heat are used wherever heat is to be transferred fast they are used for making cooking utensils heating rods and alloys like brass and stainless steel because they are good conductors of heat silver is the best conductor of heat uses of bad conductors of heat or you can say applications of insulators number 1 insulating handles appliances like cooking pan pressure cooker electric iron and electric kettle are provided with wooden or backlight or plastic handles because these materials are bad conductors of heat hence the heat from the hot appliances does not flow into our body as a result we can hold the appliances by their handles even when they are hot number 2 false ceilings false ceilings 
generally made of plaster of paris asbestos or wooden plaboard provide a layer of air between the two ceilings which keeps the room warm during winters and cool during summers since the air in between the two ceilings is a bad conductor of heat it prevents the transmission of heat from either side eyes are covered with gunny bag the material used for making gunny bag is a bad conductor of heat and does not allow the heat flow from outside to enter into eyes moreover the air filled in the interspaces of a gunny bag being a bad conductor of heat further check the transmission of heat from outside and prevents the eyes from melting number 3 woolen garment we prefer woolen clothes in winter season because wool is an insulator the air gets trapped in between the wool fibers air is also a bad conductor of heat both air and wool prevent the flow of heat from our body to the cool surrounding they also prevent the cool air from reaching our body so we feel warm number 4 igloo eskimos make double walled houses called igloo using blocks of ice igloos present in polar region are made of ice air and close in between the double walls prevent the transmission of heat generated within the igloo and hence it keeps them warm number 5 double wall the walls and doors of a refrigerator have two layers with an insulating material in the middle this material and the air and trapped between the two walls prevent heat from entering the refrigerator the same is true in case of double walled cold storage and double walled ice box number 6 gunny bag slabs of ice are covered with gunny bag the material used for making gunny bag is a bad conductor of heat and does not allow the heat flow from outside to enter into eyes moreover the air filled in the interspaces of a gunny bag being a bad conductor of heat further check the transmission of heat from outside and prevents the ice from melting